Oh, meeting people. Yeah. Meeting people, because then you just come up to you and ask what you're doing. It's one, it's nice to kind of feel like people are interested. And, uh, and then secondly, just, just painting somewhere unfamiliar. Meeting the people. I think the best way for me to meet local people is kind of becoming a part of the Because then you've got local people who up to me like, how are you doing? <laughs> what is this? So I'm just as unfamiliar to them as they are and the whole place is to me. It's a nice kind of communication. Trek, and then I came back. I, was, I met a couple of girls, so I was kind of traveling with them. They left, and that's when I thought, oh, I just need to paint something. You know, I work as an artist in London. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm from England. Uh, I paint under the alias Onion. I've been traveling and painting around Nepal for two months. I came to Nepal for the uh, that kind of spiritual injection, that infusion of kind of you know, it's a spiritual place. You know, like I was saying before, Hinduism and the Buddhism. But coming here, you know, it's just the chance to absorb that and take it in and digest it properly and have it become like an actual uh, part of an actual subconscious part that you don't even need to really think about it anymore. It's just, just a part of you. Yeah, it just becomes a part of you because you know, being here for however long, you just you can't help but absorb it. I guess as long as you're looking for it. It's funny actually because uh, I can go through it and remember things that I would have otherwise probably forgotten. It's always really satisfying, you know, and I keep a sketchbook everywhere I go, so I've got different sketchbooks from different places around the world, so it's kind of... Tourism is a very spiritual interest. <laughs> tourist trousers, tourist... No, because you can explore yourself through a new way, whether it's trekking as a tourist, buying clothes as a tourist, whether it's being a tourist, trying to communicate yourself. How am I going to react? You know what I mean? You don't know until you do it, until you, until you go to the temple of tourism, then you don't know who you are in that circumstance. It's helping complexify your being, which is, which is good. I had a similar kind of interest just now. When I bought this donut, I thought it was just a, a chocolate donut, but there's, there's cream in the middle as well. Oh, you didn't see that? Well, no, yeah. not, not initially. I just thought, hey, it's a chocolate donut. That's taking the complexity of the donut to a new level. Yeah, so that's a good donut. That's a good donut. <laughs> You're in a different environment. You're surrounded by a different kind of atmosphere, a different kind of energy, so you, when you're painting in that, you kind of adapt your painting in a way to, to what you're doing, I suppose. They threw in all their ideas and inspired me a little bit more to try this and try that, and so I think in terms of painting abroad as well, you kind of are more open to getting outside the box and getting outside your own ideas, and you, you have to embrace other people's ideas because essentially they won't take no for an answer, you know? Very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, cool. we like it. I'm proud of this, my friend, yeah? And he helped. Yeah, he helped. Good time. Yeah, you inspired with the, your, your crazy knowledge. But I'm crazy knowledge. I'm already crazy. Knowledge. There's more chance to learn and be inspired by other, other elements that you wouldn't otherwise consider, I, I, would, I would say. That and, of course, yeah, getting used to what's available, you know, if you, if you can't get hold of this paint or that colour, you just do what you can with what you've got. And I think that's, that's always good. I like a challenge. And when you've got a limited supply of this and that, you just make the best of what you, you have and then it's much more satisfying in the end. I bought the djembe because before I came to Nepal I forgot to put any new music onto my iPod. So I was stuck with the same music that I've been listening to for the last six months anyway. And I was sick of it within a couple of weeks of being here. And I realised if I was going to stick with what I had in my pocket, I was going to go mental. So I bought this to just play my own music and have something else to do that wasn't only like different from what I had in my pocket. It was something I could practice and play with and, and ultimately jam with and I've had some good jams. So. Would you 
you say the book of your life has opened up to part two? Or is it still in part one with the new chapter? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it's part two. I'd say it's like part kind of, you know, ten maybe. I mean, yeah. Fair I mean, enough. So let's say that this is this is the double figure transition. Double figure transition. Yeah, yeah. from nine to ten, we're into the double figure. Okay. Yeah. So if you had to create a trilogy of your life, would <laughs> yeah. you say we're on episode four, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, or a trilogy? Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Not because it's my favorite, but because. The Empire is about to strike back. So are you the Empire in this metaphor? Could be. Or sound is vibration. And the vibration is sound. All the circumstances, whatever is going on in this universe, is full of sound. There's nothing else beside vibration. To live here, yeah? Because of Kathmandu too much busy. To, and I like to more peace when I come here. Here many tourists come, yeah? And many tourists come, and so many experience, you know. Now I think I'm uh, maybe 75% I know the English. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>